now joined by Tennessee head coach Kelly Harper. She'll begin with an opening statement and then we'll uh, allow the media to ask questions. Coach. Well, first we're, we're excited to be come, going out of uh, the gym tonight with a win. And, you know, we, we, we talked about it as a team. We know that we can grow. There are things that um, uh, we need to be better at walking out of this game. But, um, you know, again, excited for the win. Excited for the growth that we can have. Um, but uh, I tell you, Ole Miss, Ole Miss came out. They came out uh, fighting, playing hard. Knew they would. Uh, not surprised at all uh, by their play. They're, they're much improved. The folks hadn't seen them this year. They're much improved from last year. Um, and, and obviously they've got some dynamic players and, and they played well. And, um, you know, uh, like I said, down the stretch, we made free throws and proud of our team. Take the first question from Maria. Coach, Destiny Salary gave y'all a, a jolt of energy when you need it. Just tell us a little bit more about what she gave you on both ends. Yeah, absolutely. So I felt like um, the, the two things that we did not start the game with, energy and composure. And I thought Destiny came in and actually brought both of those. You know, I thought she, um, you know, she came in and, and early on took care of the ball, uh, but also just played hard. I thought she did some, some really good things on both ends of the court. She played with a lot of confidence. Uh, she scored some buckets there in that third quarter, which I thought were really big. I thought her defense in the second quarter was good. So, I, I again, I, I think a lot of people have confidence in her because that's how she's been practicing. Her role is to be that energy player for us, and she knows that. And um, really, really happy for her. But, we, I mean, we needed it. We absolutely needed it tonight. She made big plays. Quick follow-up. Marta Suarez went out very quickly in the first quarter. Just can you update her status well, I, I wish I knew for sure, but um, we, we've not practiced her much the last, actually, we've not practiced her um, since, our, since our last game and trying to give her some rest. She has a foot injury. And uh, as of right now, I'll be honest with you, I do not know her status. Uh, I'm not sure. We, we, were, we, we knew we were gonna try to rest her and try to get her through a game and see how she did. And, and obviously we, we knew at, at the tip that it, we weren't gonna be able to play her. And uh, that was unfortunate. I tell you, she has played really well for us. That was a big blow for our team. Obviously, the depth in that position was already slim. So um, that that hurt us to start the game. But um, you know, we'll just we'll just have to figure that out. Will. Yeah, Renaya said that she thought that your team was a little bit off defensively tonight. I know you can't always have games like Kentucky, but I guess what did you notice about the defense and what are some areas that you might try to focus on fo fixing that? Yeah, I agree. I thought, I thought our defense uh, was not as locked in and focused as we needed to be or as we have been. Um, I, thought our, uh, I thought we were a step slow or a step late. Uh, I did not think we anticipated well in terms of what's about to happen. I thought we were on our heels a lot. Um, and, you know, that to me goes back to our focus. I think if we're locked in, I think we guard better. And, you know, that's, that's uh, we, we got to get that. Uh, one of the things that we have done well in, in the last, uh, last few weeks is guard well in the half court. And I, I was a little disappointed in that tonight. Chloe. Coach, how much do you see turnovers affecting this game, especially those few that you had in the first few minutes? Oh, I think we had seven in the first quarter. And, you know, you, you, start, you start out by playing with low energy. They're getting after you, and you're not playing with composure. You don't turn the ball over. And that's, uh, you know, it's not a, not a great way to start a game. And obviously what happens in turn, now they get energy, they get happy, they get excited. You know, they're, they're now – um, really, really bought into their game plan and how it's working. So, you know, we've, we've got to come out better, better energy, better confidence, better composure. Ben. Coach, you, you all were outscored by 10 in the first quarter and then outscored them by 11 over the final three quarters. Was it as simple as energy, composure, those things, or did you all make basketball adjustments as well? 
Uh, we, we tried to make adjustments throughout the game, but it, nothing different than any other game that we play. You know, you, you, you do as a coach, you, you make adjustments throughout, you change your, you know, ball screen defense, you play, play some zone, you, you're calling different plays. Um, but I think really it, it was on our players. Uh, in that first quarter, there's not a whole lot of, that I called that worked. And um, we were able to call the same plays the last three quarters and get good looks. So a lot, a lot of that was um, just being a little bit more confident and sure with the basketball. Kellyanne. Hey, Kelly, what was your message to the team at halftime? And what does it say about your group that they were able to rally back like that? Well, um, it's the same thing we just talked about, you know, uh, composure and energy. And, and we talked about, um, you know, playing downhill a little bit more. Um, I thought, again, offensively, we were on our heels a little bit. Second quarter was much better um, in terms of getting out and running, trying to get some easy looks. Uh, we, we talked a little bit schematically, defensively, how we needed to play. Um, but they, I mean, they've got some really talented players. They, they do. They, they have some talented players, and, and their talented players scored well tonight. They made some tough shots over us. Uh, you know, we've not seen a whole lot of that this year. Uh, but also, I, I think there's, like I said earlier, I think there's still some area of, of improvement. But, you know, for our team to rally, uh, team to, to find a way to make plays, um, you know, even – even even going down the stretch, you think you think things are going well, and we give up an offense board on a free throw and an and one. I mean, just silly plays that we were still able to play through. So proud of our team that we're able to do that. Um, but but obviously hope that hope that lessons learned. Maybe next time we don't we don't have to play through those mistakes. Madison. Coach, this team has been fun to watch this year because every player, it seems like, can score in a variety of different ways. Tonight, when you go two for 10 from behind the arc and then players are still outscoring um, Ole Miss in the paint by like six points in the paint, how important is it to just have those players that are playmakers like you just spoke of that can kind of just take over the game with how athletic and talented they are? Well, I think we know our our offensive uh, punch is in the paint. We know that. And, and our players are, we're attacking the paint. I, I, I thought our posts should have, uh, I didn't think we gave them enough touches tonight, uh, but our guards were able to score in the paint. And some of that's in transition. Some of that's on drives. Uh, had, a few, had a few post ups, but um, you know, that's where hopefully we can shoot a little bit better than uh, from the three point line, knock some shots down, loosen some things up. But I'm proud of our team for knowing what our go-to is, you know, and, and they're, they're really kind of heads, headset to, to get there. We'll close it out with one final question from Maria. Coach, uh, obviously Ole Miss is far better than the record. Coaches know that going in. LSU just beat Georgia. Arkansas just beat UConn. It, I mean, for fans, the SEC is a fun league to watch. But for coaches, how do you get through to a team that you better be ready to lace it up every night in this league? And, and is that something a team has to learn? Yes and yes. <laughs> uh, you know, I think – so that's been the message. Um, that we've been trying to give our team uh, that you don't just show up. You don't just walk in the gym and win. If you think you're going to do that, you're going to go home with a loss. And it does not matter who we're playing. doesn't matter. That's the SEC is so much better. I mean, competitive top to bottom. Um, I think our players are hearing that. Um, but I think it takes a little bit of maturity to be able to handle that. And, uh, I think the message to them after the game for, for, for what we were trying to tell them, you have to go out and play your game. You have to go out and play our basketball regardless of who our opponent is. Our opponent doesn't matter. We have to be focused on doing what we do well. And, and I told the team, that's our next lesson. Our next lesson is, is that we're not going to be great every night. But, but you've got to be able to do what you do well. And um, I, I hope that they, they hear that. I, I know they hear it. I, hope, I know they hear it. It's just a matter of now coming out every single night. And, and that consistency is hard to do. That's 
you know, you're going to see ups and downs throughout the year. Teams are going to see that. And the consistent teams, the teams that are there every night are going to be championship teams. They're going to be the, the, the top of the league teams. And, you know, we want to be one of those teams. We, we want to be that. And to do that, we've, we've got to handle this. We've got to handle a little success. And we've got to be able to, um, you know, go out and, and put some blinders on and play the way we need to play. All right. Thank you, Coach. And thank you for everyone joining us tonight. Thank you all for coming.